Okay, welcome to the Orange Belt series. Today, we're gonna, with the help of Kane, my friend here, is gonna be thrown around. Thanks for offering up your body. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna throw him around and teach you all the gokyo that's involved for the Orange Belt, and including the hold downs and a couple of chokes as well. Here we go. We're gonna start with Ko Soto Gary, the first one in the Orange Belt series. So standard judo grip, lapel and sleeve. We're gonna take one wide step to the side, we're going to take out this foot here, the back foot, the closest foot. What we don't want to do is have a bent leg, nothing like this, and nothing down here with your toes. Cupping your foot like this on his foot. And remembering your kazushi this way. Always the direction of the foot you want to take out. Here we go, Kosoto Gary. Always support your partner at the end. Other angle. Gary. Next in the Orange Belt series is Ko Uchi Gary. Now we're going to show this in a back and forth walking sort of situation so you can see how it feels like you're going to take his leg out as if he's slipping on a banana peel. We'll do the walk first in slow motion so you can get the idea of how it should look. We'll go back and take the leg out. Step over, it's as slow motion as we can do. Okay, now we'll do a little faster motion. We're gonna go step back, just like that. So have your partner, show it from this angle, have your partner just step back and forth, back and forth till you get comfortable, and then you take that leg out. Here we go. And always support your partner at the end. Ko Uchi Gary. Next in the Orange Belt series is Koshi Garuma. Here we go. We're gonna, it, we call it the buddy throw because you're putting your arm around your buddy. Or I call it the headlock throw because you're basically headlocking him. Okay, so it is a just general grip around the collar here. You're coming in. Of course, your sleeve pull is important, as always. Under the sleeve, pulling up, looking at your watch, as all. Forward throws in judo, like we explained in the yellow belt series, checking your watch, pulling on the sleeve, and then it's just the pivot around, get them on your hip, and throw. Okay, one time in fast motion, real speed, around the collar, pulling the sleeve, and in. From the other angle, around the sleeve, around the collar, off we go. Koshi Garuma. Okay, next in the Orange Belt series is Tsuri Komi Goshi. Now this one is a little more complicated. You do put your hand on the collar in behind, but the most important thing about this throw is getting squatted down as low as you can go and leaving your arm behind. So. When I go down this low, I want to leave my arm behind. It should be way up on Kane's neck. And of course, your sleeve pulling as well. The uke has to remain straight as a board when he goes over. And this is how it looks. Slow motion. One more time. A little faster. Sleeve pull. Leave your arm straight. And pendulum down with your arm. Tsurikomi Goshi. One more angle. Tsurikomi Goshi. Okay, we're going to do it with two steps. You can do this with one, you can do it with two, or you can do it with three. Maybe in the dojo that you work out in, they usually do it with three steps, just to get you into the dance of it, but we'll show it with two, just to stay in frame. Here we go. Always remain this position when you finish, in any throw. Makes it look pretty and it supports your partner. Here we go again from this angle. Also making sure this sleeve is pushing in his elbow and this steering like a bus 
with your partner. That's the kazushi that we need for this throw. Here we go. Okay, next one in our orange belt series is called Tayatoshi. A couple of different versions of this, but I'm gonna show the standard Tayatoshi meant for orange belt grading purposes. So, standard judo grip. I'm gonna turn you this way so we can see it a little better. We're gonna do a one, two, three step. So it's gonna be one. Now you wanna get way out of the way beside your partner over here for your second step. Your third step is here. You're down low and you're in the hurdler position. Basically, you're gonna block his calf and he's gonna fall over it. Tayatoshi. Looks like this. A couple different versions of this. You can have your partner inside Morante grip, or you can come in and be outside. I'm shorter usually than most of my opponents, so I do the inside Morante with my grip right here. So hands can be here or inside. Always remembering your sleeve pull and inside for your grip. Taitoshi, one, two, three, and he falls over your leg. Do it a little faster motion. From one more angle. Taitoshi. Okay, next for orange belt, we're going to do Harai Goshi. A couple of different grips you can do with this. You can have the standard judo grip here, you can have the over the collar grip here, or you can even have an underhook grip here for Harai Goshi. I particularly like the over the collar. Even though I'm short and I usually go against taller opponents, I still love the over the collar grip. It just gives me control, it's just a me thing, but you'll find what's comfortable for you. Try all three grips. Of course, your sleeve pull, and when you come in for this throw, remember to attach yourself to your opponent. If you try to do Harai Goshi out here, you'll get countered every time. So make sure when you come in, you attach yourself to your opponent. Your shoulder should be almost on their shoulder as you're doing the rotation. So he's attached to you, and then he comes up nice and easy, and he's light as a feather to throw. Let's just do that one in normal speed, over the collar, and in. Pointing out the feet now, what we want to do is have a sweep. Here, here, and this is going to be a sweep. So it's a reaping throw. Here, here, this is sweeping. Remember to attach yourself to your partner up top and then sweep at the end. Here it goes. Harai Goshi. Next in the series is Uchimata. This is a tougher one for most newer beginners to accomplish, but it can be done. So you want to try to, if possible, again, attach yourself to your partner. So here, this Kazushi is the most important. If you're doing an Uchimata out here, you're gonna get countered. So attach yourself to your partner, then do the rotation, basically bringing him with you as you're rotating, and then the leg comes up, sweeping inner. That's what we're gonna be trying to accomplish here. Okay, we'll do one in regular speed. Uchimata. From the other angle. That's Uchimata. Okay, so now Kane is gonna demonstrate Uchimata because I'm not a great Uchimata demonstrator. So Kane is phenomenal at this throw. Let's see how this goes. From this angle, here we go. Excellent, let's go to the other angle. That was way better than mine, <laughs> nice. 
Okay, the first of the hold downs in the Orange Belt series is called Makura Kezogatame. So basically, like a Kezogatame, get into your Kezogatame position. But the difference here is what you're going to do is raise his head up and make a little pillow for his head with your thigh and grab your own thigh. Now you have a Makura Kezogatame. Kezugatame, Makura Kezugatame. It's a slight variation, that's all you need. Now try to get out. <laughs> okay, next in the Orange Belt series of hold downs is Tate Shiho Gatame. So we're going to start out similar to a Kata Gatame. Arm over face, clasp the head. Now instead of staying here like Kata Gatame, step over, knees come up. Grapevine the knees, and hold, ear to ear. Tate shioga tame. Next hold down for orange belt would be ushiro kezagatame. So it's basically reverse kezagatame. We do kezagatame this way, here. Just gonna reverse it, come around the other side. Grab the arm in the same way. Ushido Kezugatame. Making sure this is tight in the hurdler position with your legs. Head down. Ushido Kezugatame. Reverse Kezugatame, they call it. Next in the Orange Belt series for hold downs is Munegatame. Coming in for the head. Grip here, underhook here. Just grip the shoulder, trapping this arm, his right arm. Your knees securely up against his ribs and up against his ear to trap the arm and squeeze. Munigatame. Okay, next one in our series for Orange Belt, the three chokes. First one is Hadaka Jime. Come up to your partner. Left hand first on their shoulder. Right hand comes around, gripping your left. And then you just twist till you get the top very gently. Bring it back. The next one is Okuri Eri Jume. Feed your right thumb through to get a nice deep grip. Under his arm here, grabbing the opposite lapel. Now what you're wanting to do is slightly twist, keeping your ear to his ear until you get the top. That was Okuri Eri Jume. Third choke in the Orange Belt series, Kata Hajime. Same thing, looks a lot like Okuri Eri Jume. Nice deep grip. This time you're sliding your hand up to his forearm, keeping this straight like a knife edge going down his back. Here, slight torso twist till the tap. Put the hands back in place. Those are the three chokes you need for Orange Belt.